Now here, we need to convert decimals into fractions with a denominator of 100. So first, we have 0 0.9. We know that the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have. So 0 0.9 is 9 tenths. But we need a fraction with a denominator of 100. So we need to find an equivalent fraction. To do that, we use multiplication. And 10 times 10 is 100. And what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well. And 9 times 10 is 90. So our numerator is 90. Now we have 0 0.4. Again, the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have. So that's 4 tenths. We need a denominator of 100, and 10 times 10 is 100. So to get our numerator, we need to multiply 4 by 10, and that gives us 40. To show what we were doing here, we had 0 0.9, which is 9 tenths. But if we take our fraction bar and instead split it into 100 pieces, we have 90 hundredths. And with 0 0.4, we have 4 tenths. But if we split the fraction bar into 100 pieces, we have 40 hundredths. We can also show what we did using place value counters. So, because the first digit after the decimal point is the tenths digit, with 0 0.9, we have 9 tenths. But each of those tenths can be exchanged for 10 hundredths, so that gives us 90 hundredths altogether. And with 0 0.4, we have 4 tenths, but if we change those tenths into hundredths, we get 40 hundredths. Now we have 0 0.02. Remember, the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have, and we don't have any tenths because we have a zero. And then, the second digit after the decimal point tells us how many hundredths we have. So here, we have two hundredths. Now, for 0 0.09, again, the second digit after the decimal point tells us how many hundredths we have, so we have 9 hundredths. And we can represent 0 0.02 or 2 hundredths as two parts out of 100 on a fraction bar. And we can represent 0 0.09 or 9 hundredths as nine parts out of 100. We could also show 2 hundredths using two place value counters for hundredths or 9 hundredths as nine hundredths place value counters. Now we have 0 0.12. So we know that the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have, and the second digit after the decimal point tells us how many hundredths we have. But our answer isn't two hundredths, because we can change the one tenth into hundredths as well. 0 0.12 is actually 12 hundredths. What we can do, if we see a number with two decimal places, we can draw a line across from the decimal point and write a denominator of 100. That's because we had two digits after the decimal point, and the second digit after the decimal point has a hundredths place value. To make it a bit clearer, Let's think what 0 0.12 really means. The 1 is in our tenths place value column, and the 2 is in our hundredths. If you put that together, you get 12 hundredths. That's because we can find an equivalent fraction for 1 tenth, which has a denominator of 100. 1 tenth is the same as 10 hundredths, because 10 times 10 is 100 and 1 times 10 is 10. So, if you add the 2 hundredths to that, you get 12 hundredths. Now, we have 0 0.99. That's 99 hundredths because, again, we have a number with two decimal places, and we know that the second digit after the decimal point tells us how many hundredths we have. 
So we can draw a line across from our decimal point and a denominator of 100. To make it clear, this 9 stands for 9 tenths because it's the first digit after the decimal point and this 9 stands for 9 hundredths. That gives us 99 hundredths because 9 tenths is the same as 90 hundredths. 10 times 10 is 100 and 9 times 10 is 90. So when we add the 9 hundredths to the 90 hundredths, we get 99 hundredths. To make it clear what's happening, we can show 0.12 as 1 tenth and 2 hundredths. But if we want to show that as a fraction with a denominator of 100, we can split our fraction bar into 100 pieces and we can see that we have 12 pieces because the 1 tenth is the same as 10 hundredths. And for 0 0.99, we can show 9 tenths and 9 hundredths, but if we want to show a fraction with a denominator of 100, we can split our fraction bar into 100 equal pieces, and we can see that we have 99 pieces. That's because the 9 tenths is the same or is now 90 hundredths. We can also show this using place value counters. So for 0 0.12, we have 1 in our tenths and 2 in our hundredths. But the 1 tenth is the same as 10 hundredths. So now, altogether, we have 12 hundredths. And with 0 0.99, we have 9 tenths and 9 hundredths. But each of our tenths can be exchanged for 10 hundredths, giving us 99 hundredths altogether. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.